So if you asked me last week what I thought the ideal pair of earbuds looked like for me, I would have told you that they had active noise cancellation, Qi wireless charging, super extra long battery life, ultra HD high quality audio with multiple drivers per earbud, and a whole lot more. I was looking for the pair of earbuds that had it all. Now, what's changed my mind between then and now? Well, these. I've been using the Google Pixel Buds for over a week now, and in that time, I've learned that I actually don't need it all. As simple as it sounds, it really does come down to the right mixture of design, function, and performance. With design in mind, you can tell that Google has actually spent a lot of time here. They've done a great job creating a seemingly simple design blended with heavy functionality. The case itself is minimalistic, resembling the style that Apple has been known for, but a little added flair with the matte black rim and the interior of the case helps Google keep a distance from their popular competitors. This design style extends to the earbuds themselves. The matte black and white keep the theme with a very low profile G to brand them. Again, I'm very happy with the minimalist approach with the muted matte finishes. Even from what we've seen from the other color options that will be coming soon, they went with a very toned down color palette. Overall, it's pretty clean. With regard to function, Google added what they needed to to sit them well in the field of competition. But as I mentioned before, before testing the Pixel Buds, I would have listed a ton of features I would have liked to have seen. However, after spending a week with them, I've been very satisfied with what they have to offer. The sound quality has been fantastic, with a clean overall sound signature. The blend of highs, mids, and lows was spot on in almost every genre that I tested. If you're a bass head, you might want to look elsewhere. The Pixel Buds deliver enough bass to cover your music well, even hitting into some of the deep bass ranges, but are the brighter set of earbuds. So if you're looking for a brain-rattling bass, you may be disappointed with these. Now, as we've seen in a lot of other reviews and a lot of write-ups about the technology behind the Pixel Buds, when it comes to making phone calls, once again, the Pixel Buds absolutely deliver. Check out this audio sample I took with the windows down, going about 50 miles an hour down a highway. Let's just say I was impressed. All right, guys, so here is a mic test of the Google Pixel Buds. Now, I am actually driving down the street. My phone's in a, uh, in a cell phone holder, and the windows are down. I'm driving at about... Uh, 50 miles an hour down a highway, uh, and this is, there's wind whipping around me. This is what it sounds like um, with that full background noise going on. So hopefully this gives you an idea of what these earbuds and microphones can actually do. Google also got the touch controls right. With volume controls with a simple forward or backward swipe to go up or down, the touch controls are very sensitive and very easy to use. I found every time I clicked them, touched them to play, pause, skip tracks, activate, hey Google, anything like that, it all worked flawlessly and very, very easily. Super intuitive and well executed. In addition, the in-ear sensors performed great. With autoplay and pause when you pulled your earbuds out and put them back in, it was great for listening to audiobooks and podcasts and music over long extended periods of time while still getting active with conversations and other business. Battery life did pose a slight challenge for me. The five hours of battery life while listening to music or podcasts was spot on and worked well enough for my needs. I don't usually listen to anything over five hours straight anyway, so it worked. Where I ran into some trouble, however, was when I was making phone calls and consuming media shortly after. The battery life dips quite a bit when you're making phone calls and leaves little left over to continue directly playing music or podcasts right after. So keep in mind that if you're mixing your audio with listening to or making phone calls, you might have a problem with battery life for the long haul. Last but certainly not least was the deep integration with the Google services. This feature, or set of features really, I didn't honestly know that I needed or wanted so badly. Now, don't get me wrong, I've had earbuds and headphones that have the ability to activate my Google services, but being able to just say, hey Google, or press and hold down the button to know that she's listening, to be able to give her a command, was very, very simple and felt super natural and very intuitive. Well done. And I'll be honest, it did take me some time to figure out how I could implement this pair of earbuds once I learned the commands for reading notifications, controlling my music, starting phone calls, checking my daily schedule, and adding reminders, I quickly found out that I was able to interact with my phone without actually having to interact with my phone. This allowed me to stay more focused throughout the day. I felt quite a bit less attached to my device, which after being locked inside for over a month now, felt pretty refreshing and freeing. So, 
With all things considered, the Pixel Buds are a total package. They're not the total package, but a perfectly solid standalone set of earbuds that would make any Google ecosystem user extremely happy. Now we have to consider the $180 price tag. Is it worth it? Well, I think for someone who uses Android, and especially if you're already using Google Home devices, this is a no-brainer. I think that with the same integration always at the ready, no matter where you are, plus the entire packaging of hardware considered, $180 is an easy purchase for me. In fact, I did buy them myself and feel perfectly confident with this decision. As a matter of fact, I'm actually going to bump these guys up to my daily drivers as of right now. So guys, that is it for my Google Pixel Buds review. Hopefully this was helpful for you as usual guys, because the goal here is to help you make a better tech buying decision. Now, if that sounds like something you're interested in, please consider subscribing to the channel so you get notified of every new review that I put out. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please hit me up down in that comment section below because I love chatting with you guys down there. But as usual guys, that is it for me and I will see you in the next video.